And I'm joined now live from Tokyo by Martin Schultz. He is senior economist at the Fujitsu Research Institute. So Martin, it is certainly uh, going to make it much harder for the Khan government to get anything done. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, the new prime minister was hoping that he gets uh, some major support through the election here. Uh, he, t he said, told the, the, the public basically, trust me, I'm decisive, I have new, new policies, uh, we are getting things right. But he also said, I want more money, I want to raise a major tax, the sales tax, and the public said no. Okay, we'll come to that sales tax in a minute. I mean, was it, was it really that tax? I mean, what made him so unpopular because when he came into office just at the beginning of June he had approval ratings of 66 percent uh, then just before this vote they were down to about 43 percent his party's slogan was please give us another chance what went wrong it is probably as easy as this tax issue. Uh, in Japan, raising the sales tax, which is still at 5%, is a major issue. The problem is the moment the, the, the public says, well, increase it, uh, we might get into a situation as in Europe where the sales, sales tax goes up regularly. A few people really want this. Uh, the government here needs to show some policy first. They need to show some strategy first. Otherwise, they don't get such a vote. Okay, so the people are against this consumption tax, but are raising the consumption tax, but it's currently 5%, which is much lower than it is in other parts of the world. And Japan does have the biggest national debt in the world. It accounts for something like $80,000 per person in Japan. So you've got to do something about that, haven't you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, most people here actually would would agree that the sales tax has to, to uh, increase at some point and that has to be put either into pensions or into reducing the deficit. But the new government, the new, uh, the new prime minister was also saying, well, I have more strategies for growth and so this requires money. We need the money from the sales tax for this use as well and the public as well as business are not following along these lines. So Khan wants to reduce the public deficit but he also has to battle 12 years of inflation or deflation he's got to put an end to that so isn't growth a more important concern than lowering that deficit uh, that is exactly the problem of Japan. We need some growth here, otherwise it will be impossible, even with tax increases, to battle this enormous debt that has been built up. But for that, a clear-cut strategy on cutting red tape, on putting efficient government into place, needs to be, uh, to be shown. The government already had nine months to do so, and it has a dismal track record so far. Now, do you think that Khan's job is uh, potentially under threat? He says he's not going to resign, but his, his term as party leader, well, that's up for renewal in September already. Well, he will certainly get very, very busy within his party. It is a big party. It is a collection of different groups. There will be infighting. In September, the presidential election within the party is due. So he will have to show that he gets his house in order. And this is the interesting part about this election and what we might see through the next month to really see some strategy coming up here. But Martin, doesn't Japan really above all just need some political stability here? I mean, after all, they've had five leaders in four years. We almost have total political stability in Japan and this has been a big problem. We had one party running the country more or less 50 years now. The other party, the Democrats, are pretty safe in government so far actually. There is always inf infighting. What we didn't have is a growth strategy. What we didn't have are major structural reforms and this is what the public has been voting for one time after another, another, another. They want to see some changes here. Do you have faith in Naoto Khan? Uh, well, actually, he he shows that he is quite a decisive leader. I think he made a mistake with the with the with the sales tax. He can correct this, and I think he has a good chance to get his cabinet in order uh, to make it through the presidential election and to show some policy here. All right, Martin Schultz, senior economist at Fujitsu Research Institute. Thank you for joining us.